Hello, oh, Farm Man 2013 here today. Today is February 9th. It's about six, well, quarter to six. I got the dang radio loud again. I always do that. I just gotta unplug this stupid thing. I'm done for the day, anyways. Um. So I gotta make. I had to make a little bit of an update video on what was going on here. Um. Hold on. There we go. I gotta keep my chop saw. Put my chop saw down. I gotta swing it down yet. Um. I uh, went to school today and came and got after school. Went and uh, went to my sturdiments or pronto. Well, sturdiments and prano, and uh, took a piston, and I uh, got measured. Got a measured, and I took the head. So they're gonna get the head uh, ground for me. The valves ground, and uh, f uh, face everything. So it's all good and smooth. Uh, and then I got my kits and my uh, gasket kits ordered, and I got sleeves ordered, and heads and rings, and uh, the pins inside the the inside the uh, piston here they're wore enough just the one I took in this is the one I took in with me it had just enough slop that you could actually hear the oil on the inside kind of making the noise so I got to take all the rods in and have them shimmed so that way when the new when the new uh, pistons come then they will just uh, take the old pistons out put the new ones on and then I will bring them home and then I can uh, slip my sleeves in and go up from there. Then when I when I get home here, I'll have to take the sleeves and drop them in the deep freeze for about uh, oh a good 24, 24 to 48 hours is what I what I typically do with that Super M or sleeve. We dropped it in the freezer for I think it was almost a, almost a day, almost two days, uh, and then uh, brought it out and just dropped it right down the clean cylinder the the clean the clean block cylinder hole and it slipped right in and seated right where we wanted it so but i got the like i said yesterday i got the pistons all pulled and then i got four of my four of my sleeves pulled today i spent a lot of the day building my mechanism for my sleeve puller which is this little device here actually i'll get it out hold on if I... there we are and here it is i uh, built this sleeve puller I took a big washer that I had that was big enough just big enough uh, actually there's two washers there two washers and a nut um, that was just big enough to slide down the bore but small enough to catch on the sleeves so what I would do then is set it in the set it in there like so you know and uh, tighten it down and then it would uh, it would work it would pull them out and those four came easy my cylinders or sleeves three and four were a little bit tighter and I can't get them I couldn't get them to budge so I uh, soaked them with PB blaster and they got good and dirty up top I'm gonna wipe it down and go after it with another shot of that but uh, no I got that done and uh, I got the got to pull the last two sleeves and then I got, uh, then it's all ready to go for when the parts come to put, start putting things back together. Um, and I was doing, doing a little research and I ran the numbers last night on these piston heads. And uh, they are factory IH pistons. And I was looking around on the sleeves. I don't remember where, which sleeve it was. I don't think you can see it very well. Not on that one anyway. There was a sleeve that I had that I had pulled out that the serial number was still on it. Is it this one? Okay. Here it is. Three, uh, let's see if it'll focus. Three, five, or three, six, seven, six, four, five, R2. Which basically that goes with that was five. So this here's five. And five is right there three six seven six four two r one and that's r two so they are meant to be together um and i believe those are the, the original sleeves original pistons 
And I also found out that the uh, the bearings in there are original bearing, are the factory bearings. Um, still standard standard grind on the bearings. Um, so yeah, that's what kind of what I found out so far with it. Uh, I uh, got that much done with it, so it's going moving along real good. I uh, got to cover it up for the night, and my kits should be here in a week or so um because the guys got to up at uh, prano got to when they work on my head they're going to order all the parts then so that way they can because the new in the new parts it's got uh kits for the uh gap or the intake and exhaust valves so if they have to replace anything in the valves which hopefully they don't um the guys thought it looked pretty good and they could tell that black film on there was um was it burning oil so for that that's kind of what we figured out with that so for that that's what that's kind of all there is right now i i think i'm going to do a little bit of wire work i uh, said yesterday in my video that i wasn't but i am i think i'm gonna start pulling wires off this box i gotta get a roll of wire and uh start rewiring things these wires here go to my I redid I re just retaped them and they look pretty good so they look pretty decent they because these two were pretty decent and uh these ones here actually are pretty decent too so I'm probably just gonna run the wire rerun the wires from the from the uh uh up on the dash there back and forth but for that that's all we got today that's what's that's what's new and improved and and uh worked on I mean it's Slow, slowly but surely, but hopefully uh, this tractor will be in good running condition. It'll be a real champ when I get it <clears throat> put back together. Uh, but before I took it apart, actually this past fall, I pulled my 516s International. Uh, I think it's a 510 um, pull type or semi-mounted plow with it, and I was plowing with it, um, and it was handling it pretty all right then with it starting to go bad so i'm hoping that uh this out this this new over o overhaul will uh increase my horsepower and make it a little more a little more gutsy than what it than what it was give it a little more uh oomph in, in a sense so so for that that's what we got right now that's what's going on and uh I'll keep you updated for the next one